do you see how clean this CV is? It is so clean, straight to the point and very professional. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to write a CV exactly like this. The one that's going to get you a job interview. But before we get into that, hi everyone, my name is Lesa Honolo Chweni and I welcome you on the Success Link, a channel that talks about career development and business development. So before we get into today's video, please do not forget to subscribe, to like and to comment and also press on that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on any updates. So Go get your laptop or stand in front of your computer and left write a CV step by step. Remember, CV is not one size fits all, so you don't need to use someone else's template. You need to be able to write your own CV. So I'm going to go behind the screen and let's write that CV. So we are going to start off with a blank page like this on your Microsoft Word. But before we start, you need to always make sure that there's some... Um, uh, for settings that you start with to ensure that your document is always you know professional and you don't have a lot of work of formatting and editing at the end so when you can come up here to the search tab and say margins then that margins thing will pop up and then with different options there i would advise that you go for the normal margins that way it makes life easy and then when you are done with that, we're going to work on the style, uh, the font size and style where it says uh, normal on the styles. You now right click and then click modify. This page will open and then you change the font type. I normally love using Century Gothic, but you can use Arial or Vardana as well. I feel those they are also professional and everything. In terms of font size, I normally love using 11, but you can use anything 10, 11, and 12. I find that they're also, you know, okay. And then in terms of the um, uh, the alignment, please click on justified to make sure that you the alignment is neat and uh, professional. And then when you are done, you press OK. Then when you are done pressing OK, we are going to now start writing your CV. So the first thing, things first. It's always your contact details. I love writing my contact details at the top of the uh, the page there and as a on the on the on the header because I need it to be showing on each and every page. So you're going to put your cursor here and double click there, and then you're going to press insert and have one row um, of there. Uh, you're gonna have one row, and then inside the table there, you're going to have your address. Please don't put your house numbers and everything. Just put your area name and the town um, and the town and the postal code. I think those should do. And then you're going to press enter and have your email address. Please, when you have your email address, use a formal email, your surname and your initials or your surname and a number, but not some funny email address like Terminator 1, Anaconda, what, what. No, don't have that. Use a normal emails it can be your name and your say name and then after email you're going to have contact number here please make sure that you have your um your two numbers so that should they call you and find that your main number is off they should be able to get hold of you in any case and uh, when you are done highlight everything here press home tab and then alignment you can put it here in the middle or you can put it towards the right i love putting it here in the middle then when you are done you're going to double click this table you're going to remove the borders and then you say no borders when you are done uh, at the end of the of the contact numbers there we are going to insert in uh, a, a horizontal line so you choose a horizontal line mine come up as gray double click there uh, reduces to 1p uh, no, or let's make it 1,5 and then the color you solid color black and then press ok and then you are good to go so now what you do is to close your header and then we are going to move into writing your cv so you can see that uh, the cursor where the cursor is where the cursor is is just right there with the line you're just gonna press enter twice and write your name so you can write something like Riku Lam Vitae off and then you write your name um, and say names there and then you're going to bold this 
and make it uh, let's say 14 and make everything uppercase and then bold that then alignment put it in the middle so that your name is there now 14 looks a bit smaller let's move it to 18 i think 18 looks fine when you are done i'm going to press enter and then please reduce the spacing to the this uh, font thing here back to 11. when you have it like this and then you press enter once and then what I need you now to do is to make sure that you list all the sections that you are going to be having in your in your CV. So all the sections that you are going to be having in your CV. I love starting with career objective because it's it just tells who you are, you know, what you bring to the table and you know what's your strength and everything, what you're looking for. So once you have all those um listed there, highlight everything um make them upper cases bold because these are headings let's make them 14 i think 14 is it's a right font and then we are going to press enter twice after each and every section name a header okay let's twice like that so you have all the sections there so you are going to highlight this one uh, the first one and then come to the um border Put top border and lower border. So you are going to do all this step for all the all these uh, sections. When you have them listed as you start, it helps you to not forget anything. You see, now already we have our skeleton, and then we need to put the meat in. <laughs> then in the career um, objective or personal statement, write something concise, a, just a concise paragraph with two to four lines that will summarize who you are, what you bring to the table, and your career goals. Let's say you are an education graduate, and then this is your first job, of course. So you're going to write a simple thing like the one that I have pre-written. I'm just going to copy and paste this here. Then once you have the uh, career objective there, um, uh, you are going to move to writing your skills. So in terms of skills, I love putting them in a um, format, uh, in a uh, bullet point form. So you're going to have them in a bullet point form. Write both your soft skills and um, your, your hard skills. Most of the time, the adverts, they will tell you what kind of skills they are looking for. Please make sure that you tailor your, your CV as per the advert because a CV is not a one size fit all. So you need to make sure that it talks to the advert. So when you have all your skills listed there, you then, um, you can also just on Google search the relevant skills that are relevant to your job or you just have to rely on what the advert says they want and then you add other skills that you have as well. So now when you are done, we are going to move to education. Here in the education section, you are going to have your degree and field of study, institution name, graduation date or expected graduation date and then also highlight your honors and other achievement. So under, under this one, you are going to have a header. Um, I already had pre-written this. Ooh. So if something like this happens, maybe you're copying and pasting or you're writing and then the, the font is not similar to what you had said, please go back and fix all these. Come back and, re come back and reduce um, the font to 11 and unbold everything there. But the education part, you can bold it and have it like that and have, have the education uh, background listed and start with the most recent one, you know, uh, going down. And then you can also add subjects or the coursework. Here you are going to list um, you list your your subjects and your coursework, but not going down. You're gonna you know let's say put comma d d d. Let's say those are the the subject. You're going to write them just like that, going the other way so that. Um, it does not make your CV to be too long. No one wants to read a long CV. So now we are moving to personal information. So now let's add a table. Um, we are going to have two columns and six rows. And then you're going to have full names, gender, date of birth, nationality, health, and license. And then we're going to just have it there. Already pre-written, so I'm just going to copy and paste it there see neat and very straight to the point 
If you have work experience, then you are going to add it. But if you do not have a work experience, please do not worry. Just skip this one and delete it. But if you do have it, let's say for this sake of the tutorial, you do have work experience. I would also suggest that we have a table here because you need to put a job title, company name, employment date, and the key responsibilities. So let's have a table here as well. We're going to press insert and then we put a table, uh, three columns. We're going to put three columns. Let's say you had one job. We're going to put three columns like that. You're going to start with the date and then company um, and then roles and responsibility. So you can see already that the font is way bigger than uh, the other fonts in the in the document. So you go back, you highlight everything, go to home tab, then click uh, choose uh, 11. So let's say you started your job in April this year, 2024, or at the company. Um, it's food. Ah, it's a company. <laughs> And then this side of the roles and responsibility, you're going to put the position that you're working in. Let's say you were a waiter. You want to write that. Um, let's fix the formatting here. Unbold everything. Font 11. And then on the position here, I think this one, we can highlight it. We can bold it, have it like that. And then you were a waiter. And then you, uh, you put your case after the waiter. And then you press enter twice. Then you write, you write the task includes, then you do like that. And in a bullet form, you then list the tasks that you were, um, 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 you, 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 you were working at, at this company. So you're going to write whatever you're writing here based on the job that you're doing. And then you have them listed there. Also, please write them in a way that they would uh, you know show relevance to the work that you're applying for even if it doesn't because you're still a student or you are a newly graduate it does not matter then you're going to have it like that and then because if you have the experience here it might be too much what you're going to do is to adjust this table move um the the column of the date make it smaller and then the company also smaller so that you can have big space to write everything else here then now we're coming to reference please when you put someone on the reference make sure you've spoken to them because due to poppy act you cannot just put people's names and their contact details without their permission let's say you spoke to your people and they agreed that you can put their references there you are going to now uh, enter uh, put a table maybe three columns as well and then you're going to have two or three um, references and then here you're gonna have name and say name of that person the company and also their contact details and then you can also in here even add your your lectures and stuff but please make sure that you put people that will talk highly of you who will not make you lose your 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 opportunities so you see now this CV is so straight to the point. It's two pages and straight to the point. Did you see how easy that is? If you apply everything that I've taught you into this video, you are definitely going to be getting job interviews left, right, and center. They're just going to be calling you. Every job application that you send, you are going to be called for an interview because here we are a success tribe. Please don't forget to comment, to like, and to share.